The Battle of Midway was where everything changed. We broke their codes and their plans were clear. Most of our fleet was waiting for the Japs to show up, ready to get revenge for what they did to us at Pearl Harbor. We had three carriers there, the Enterprise, the Hornet, and the Yorktown. To back them up, we had eight cruisers and 17 destroyers. But the Jap fleet was awesome. They sent six carriers, seven battleships, 14 cruisers, and 42 destroyers. Against their fleet, ours looked insignificant. The battle lasted three days, and when the smoke cleared, we saw the damage we'd done. We took out four of their carriers, the Akagi, the Kaga, the Hiryu, and the Soryu, and the heavy cruiser Mikuma. All up, we only lost one carrier, the Yorktown, and a single destroyer. But it wasn't just ships that the Japs lost at Midway. We also splashed twice as many of their planes as they got of ours. A lot of good Japanese pilots were shot down at Midway, and I don't think their Air Corps ever recovered. In just three days, we'd broken the back of their fleet. Their carrier strike force, the Kiru Batai, was all but wiped out. Even with their fleet wrecked, the Japs still had control of most of the Pacific, and thousands of miles south of Midway, the Japanese took control of Guadalcanal.